Hi there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. In this video, we will be talking about how we can install Ubuntu latest version in VMware. So first of all, what we need to do is um, let's open any browser. So here I have already opened Google Chrome. Now here I will type Ubuntu and then I will hit enter. So here you can see the first link is of Ubuntu. Now here we need to click here on download and then select Ubuntu desktop and here we have got two version the first one is long term and the another one will have latest feature so based on your need you can select any one so in my particular case I would like to go with the one which have latest feature so after we clicked on it here you can see the process of download has begun and not to worry guys I will also provide you the direct link in the description of this video so that you can reach here directly Meanwhile, our Ubuntu setup is getting downloaded. Let's talk about how we can install Oracle VirtualBox. So if you already have installed it, then you can skip this portion else you can follow this procedure to download Oracle VirtualBox. First of all, let me just go back to google.com and here I will be typing Oracle VirtualBox or else you can check out the link that I have provided in the description of this video. So this is the website of Oracle VirtualBox and as of now 7.0 is the latest one. So just click on that and then you need to click here on Windows host and then um, simply download it. So after your Oracle VirtualBox get downloaded, simply click on open and run the setup. So you just need to click on next, next and next. So here in my case, since I have already installed it, so that is why uh, it was showing like this but the installation is pretty straightforward now let me just close it and I realize that I also have downloaded Ubuntu okay now next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run Oracle VirtualBox now here what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here on new and then I'm going to give my virtual machine a name so let me type here Ubuntu Linux and here in case of folder you can specify where you want to keep your virtual machine I'm going to keep it at same place in case of ISO image here you need to select your ISO image so here is my Ubuntu ISO image so if you could not find it just click on other and then locate your ISO file now um, let's click next now this phase is very important guys because here you will be defining username and password for your system so um, let me type here the username and then password okay and then um, here also you can define host name so I would say um, Linux and then uh, the domain name now also I would like to add guest edition which is basically tools of Oracle VirtualBox that will optimize this machine after installing Ubuntu now let's click next and here based on the amount of RAM that your system have you can allocate RAM to this virtual machine similarly you can do with processor so in order to check how much RAM your system have what you can do is you can press Windows and R button and type MS Info 32 now hit enter and here you can see the amount of RAM installed so in my case it is 64 gigabyte and number of cores that is available in your system in this case there are 24 so based on that you can allocate so always try to you know make it less than half or if you have really good system then you can even cross half so in my case I would like to keep it 32 gigs and number of processor out of 24 I would like to make it 8 or let's say even 6 and then I'm gonna click next and here you can allocate the amount of hard disk space in my case I would like to make it 80 gigabyte and then I'm going to click on next now um, let me click on finish now here you can see the system start powering up but um, let me click on close because still 
uh, there are some more settings that I would like to do. Let's click here on setting and click on display. Here I would like to make video memory to full which is 128 megabyte and a um, few more settings that I would like to do is um, with USB. Let's select USB 3.0 and that's all. And now let's try to power it up. So I'm going to click on start. Now let's see what happened. Now here you can see Ubuntu booted up and here you have got four option. First one is try on install Ubuntu. Second one is Ubuntu with save graphics. I would like to go with first option which is try on install Ubuntu. So let me hit enter. And there we go. Now here we can see the process of Ubuntu installation has begun. Now let's wait for this process to get ended and um, it may take 5 to 10 minutes based on the VMware machine configuration. So let's wait for another 10 to 15 minutes. Now it seems that Ubuntu installation is at final stage. So now um, let me click here on my username which I initially set up and now I'm going to enter my password. Now here we can see the typical initial setup of Ubuntu got started. So I'm going to click here on skip and then um, I'm going to select here no do not send system info. Now let me click next and then here you can enable location services and click on done. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and here I would like to connect uh, the guest edition CD image. So what basically this CD image will do, um, it will improve overall graphics performance of this guest OS. Okay, so what now we need to do is we need to click here on this menu button and type here terminal. And then run it now here first thing we need to do is we need to type here su then hyphen and enter now here we need to define our root password so i will be typing here root password and now we need to type following command to open sudoer file which is visu do now what we need to do here is we need to write following in this file which is um let me just go down and just like for root we have permission we can also add freedom negi seven face all and then equal all then colon all then close the bracket then space all now press ctrl and x to exit now we need to click on y to save it and hit enter now let me clear this up by writing clear and now um, let me just close this terminal and let's again type terminal and now I will type here sudo apt get update to check this time the sudo is working fine or not. Now let me type my password and there we go. Now we have got sudo access. And there we go. We have successfully installed Ubuntu Linux in our virtual box. 
I hope guys you find this video helpful and informational. If yes, then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for such content. And I will see you soon in my next video. Till then, take care and bye bye.